Man, what a wonderful morning. Choices, excuses, uh, results. What do you really want out of life? So anyways, I got the weirdest way in which I came to what's on my mind today. But anyways, do me a favor. Please hit the subscribe button real quick. Welcome to the channel, Old Guy Inc., where I talk about whatever's on my mind. Uh, <clears throat> A lot of times CrossFit, sometimes MMA, who knows? Today, I'm talking about choices, excuses, uh, what's reality, and uh, how I think people mis uh, misinterpret that in their mind. So anyways, here's the weirdest story about what made this come to my mind. So it's a beautiful morning here today in Boise. Uh, <clears throat> it's a little chilly if you're in your 1974 Jeep with no roof, doors, windows, or sides of any kind. It's super awesome and fun and it's great as the day warms up, but it's a little cold in the morning getting to work. So today's the first day that I have taken my Jeep to work, and why is that? It's because this is the first morning this year that I didn't make an excuse not to, okay? So I had to wake up a little earlier, I had the Jeep in the garage, I hadn't really brought it outside, it took me a little bit of time to get it started, I had to let it warm up, I had to shuffle some cars, <laughs> So I had all these things that I needed to do in order to drive my Jeep today. Now, today's not the first day I could have driven my Jeep. Today's the first day that I wanted to enough to do it. So what does that mean? It means there's other days I thought about doing it, uh, but I made excuses not to. Oh man, they were good ones too, right? And I justified why I couldn't do it that day, why I wasn't gonna do it. What did I really do? I really just didn't want to do it that day, right? So I made a choice not to. So that's what brought me here to uh, this topic today. I just think there's so many things in life that people don't look at correctly. And so of course, since mainly what I focus on is fitness and health related, I think that's the number one place in life. I mean, it happens in everything in life, right? But I think that's the number one place it happens. All you have to do is look at somebody's life and see the choices that they make, the things that they make time for, and now you know what's important to them. Because everybody's busy. Everybody has excuses and things that they need to do, but everybody also has things that they find time for. I mean, all you have to do is observe somebody's life and what they do on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, monthly, yearly, and it's pretty easy to decide what are the priorities in their life. Because the things that they prioritize, they choose to do and they make less excuses for. The things that they don't prioritize, they make a whole bunch of excuses why they can't do it, right? So let's talk a little bit about fitness. Do you know how easy it is? I'm tired, I didn't get good sleep last night. I'm stressed out, I don't feel good. Okay, I mean, me, I go to the gym every single day, no matter what. I mean, if I'm injured, I find a way to work around my injury. If I'm sick, I try to do something low intensity. That's me. So what does that mean? Am I crazy? No. It means for me, working out is a priority. It's important. So why do I bring that up? This isn't about working out, okay? It's a great example. But this is really just about anything in your life, okay? Could be the people in your life, could be school, could be work, it could be goals, could be a business, could be money. It doesn't matter what it is, okay? If you want to do it, you will prioritize and find a way to do that every day. And by finding a way to do it, what I'm really saying is you just won't make excuses not to do it, basically. So it's super simple. So what I challenge you to do is just look at things a little differently, okay? Instead of looking at reasons why you can't do something, anytime you decide not to do something, just be honest with yourself and say, I don't want to. So don't try to decide why you can't, right? Don't try to figure out what's in your way, what obstacles preventing you from doing it, why you're so tired, why you're so stressed, why you're so X, Y, and Z. Simply say, huh, I don't really want to do this. I'm choosing not to do it. Okay, own it. Take ownership. And then do the same thing for the people around you, right? Don't make excuses for other people either. If you look at somebody else, and you see the choices that they make, it's pretty easy to decide what's important to them. That's it. Don't make excuses for yourself or other people. Look at yourself and say, I don't want to. 
And when you ask yourself, why isn't this other person doing this? Or why aren't they doing that? Or, right, why aren't they calling me back? Why aren't they texting me? They're not too busy, right? They don't want to. It's not a priority. So I could go on and on. Apply it to eating, right? Nutrition is a huge problem for the entire country. Okay, probably is for you just like me. I watch what I eat. I do intermittent fasting. I get hungry and I have to make choices every day. But I don't make excuses, right? I don't, like, if I want to eat outside of my fasting hours, I, I can do it if I want. I don't make an excuse. I'll be like, well, I, I kind of have to eat because, you know, I'm a little, I worked a little harder today. And I just simply, I'm like, mm, I don't want to do my fasting right now. I want to eat. Boom. I make a choice. Okay? That is as simple as that. So, anytime you decide you want to eat something, anytime you put something in your mouth, that's a choice. You, you don't have to do it, right? I mean, yeah, you got to eat every couple of days to survive. You, you got to drink. Uh, but I think you get what I'm talking about. What you choose to eat and what you choose to drink for most of us, right? Because we're lucky. Most of us, it's a choice. You have options. So all I'm saying to you is whether it's driving your Jeep, whether it's eating, nutrition, going to the gym, whether it's school, a business, some other sort of goal that you have in your life and you're just too busy and you're just too tired, look at the other things in life that you find time to do, right? Or maybe there's something you want to do and you're like, I don't have the money to do that. Well, look at the things that you are spending money on. You're making choices to spend money all the time. Are you spending them on what you really want or are you making excuses why you can't save money? I just don't have any money left over to save. Okay but you have money to go to Starbucks all the time, that's a choice. You're choosing not to do everything in life you want to do, and that's okay as long as you own it. So, I don't know, a little, I'm not trying to be a downer, I'm hopefully trying to motivate you that whatever it is that you are struggling with in life, whatever your goals are, you gotta ask yourself, do you really want to accomplish that? And if you do, then you need to start looking at the decisions you make every day differently. And I'm going to repeat that. You need to replace your choices and your, your excuses, excuse me, with choices and decisions. Just look at every single decision you make differently. Like I'm choosing not to go to the gym today. That's it. I'm, I'm choosing to eat this today. I'm choosing not to work on this project I'm choosing not to do my homework, to, to not do this with my business, whatever it is, uh, and then own it because you are ultimately responsible for the majority of what happens in your life. You do have the time. You just need to know whether or not it's a priority. And if you look at your life, you'll really, you'll know. You might lie to yourself, but if you analyze your life correctly and the people around you, it's very easy to tell what everybody's priorities are and what's most important to them. So I urge you, Decide what's important to you. Decide what your priorities are and then take a look at your life and see if they match. Because a lot of times they don't. A lot of times you'll realize that what you think are your priorities really aren't. Um, so that's it. Food for thought. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Do me a favor. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Like the video. Subscribe. Don't like the video. I really don't care. Um, but I'd love to hear from you and see what you guys think about goals and excuses and choices. Uh, I think it's an interesting topic. I think we all need to do a little bit more self-reflection sometimes, guilty as charged. So let's have a great day and uh, hope to hear from you.